dear students uh, today i am going to discuss about the topic of delay flip flop which is nothing but d flip flop right uh, the already i told you that in my previous video the problem of forbidden state in sr flip flop can be eliminated by some other flip flops like d and jk flip flop so here see how that forbidden state in sr flip flop can be eliminated so the forbidden state in sr flip flop can be eliminated by incorporating an inverter between s and or inputs such that the input of the inverter is connected to the sn and that output of the inverter is at the or end so this type of is connection is called as the delay flip flop right so by incorporating this inverter which going to eliminate the forbidden state in sr flip flop so from this plug diagram we can say that the d flip flop having only one input which is called as d right the circuit diagram is same as that of sr flip flop but the s and or inputs are combinedly connected with the inverter with the single input which is called as d which means the one end of the input is inverter input is connected to s terminal and the other end of the inverter connected to the r terminal so the remaining circuit is same as that of sr flip flop right so let's see the operation of d flip flop if i am going to given the clock signal is zero right here the triggering is level triggering which means the level triggering the level 1 then only that circuit produces the output which means the output change occur at the logic 1 level that is called as the level triggering if i suppose uh, the clock input is 0 then what happen the one of the input of both the nand gates become zero right so the uh, output of nand gate is 1 so 1 1 provide again the a uh, no change condition in sr flip flop right one one condition which provide the no change conditions so clock input zero means the output of this nand gate become one because one of the input is zero so the output is one one this one one as the input of the nand latch right Uh, so we already discussed the nand latch two table in that nand sr latch one one combination provide the no change state which means previous output state which is called as qn right so we want to get the output change the clock signal should be high okay so now the clock signal is 1 and the applied input d is 0 okay so the clock signal is 1 applied input d is 0 d 0 means this line having the input 0 and this line having the input 1 and these two lines input also 1 because clock signal is high right so in this diagram up we can say that it's a sr flip flop right this is sr flip flop so this is yes this is r now this line input is 0 and this line input is 1 in sr flip flop a two table s is equal to 0 and r equal to 1 then the next state will be 0 right so the same here also input when we are applying the input is 0 then next state of that circuit is become 0 right is it clear now i am applying the input d is 1 okay d is 1 so d1 means this line is 1 and this line is 0 so this circuit is nothing but our sr flip flop so this one is considered as s input and this one is considered as r input according to that sr flip flop so in the sr truth table 1 0 combination provide the output or next state is 1 so when we apply the d input our next state also 1 so now this is the two table of d flip flop right so we can simply say that in t flip flop the next state will be the same as that of input right 
where our input is 0, the next state also 0. Our input is 1, the next state also 1. So here only single input, so there is two possibility only, whether the input is maybe 0 or 1. If 0 means next state also 0, 1 means next state also 1. The next one is characteristics table. So uh, as we know the characteristics table inputs are the present input and past output. These two terms are called as the inputs variable of characteristic table and output variable is our next state qn plus 1. So this value will be find with the help of this truth table, right? If d0, qn0, then what will be the next state? So I, I said that whatever input we are given, that same will be the next state in d flip-flop. So here we don't consider about the uh, past values, past uh, output. So if d0 means our next state also 0, d0 our next state also 0, d1 our next state 1, here 1. So how we can uh, say that that 0 means 0 according to this operation of D flip-flop. If you are applying an input is 0, then this line having the input 0 and this line having the input 1 because you are connecting inverter. So this 0, 1 combinations provide the output or next state of SR flip-flop is 0. That's why D0 means our next state also 0, right? Then excitation table. Excitation table can derive from this characteristics table. So it is used to do find the input of the flip-flops, right? So here the input variable considered as the past output and present output and the output variable is D. So in these two variable we get the four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So the D value is calculated from this characteristics table. If Qn0, Qn plus 1, 0, then D value is 0. So D value is 0. Qn0, Qn plus 1, Qn0, Qn plus 1, then D value is 1. Qn1, Qn plus 1, 0, D value is 0. Both 1, so both 1, the D value is 1. So now 1. Now this is the excitation table of D flip-flop. Thank you students.